Today, Kevin and I have four chocolates from Laura Secord Chocolates. These are made in Canada, and Jamie sent us these from Canada. So it's cool, we, it's a brand we've never had before. So I have just the milk chocolate, and I have a white chocolate. And this one's milk chocolate with peanut butter center. And this one is a frosted mint, and you said it was in a white chocolate. It's covered with white chocolate. Oh, wow. Yeah. You would expect for the mint to be in dark chocolate, but it's not. It has a white chocolate coating. That'd be a, a bit different. But I was curious, because this is a Canadian brand, I was curious, um, I expected for someone at the company to be named Laura Secord. I, I'm not familiar with that name. Uh, and that's not the case. Uh, Laura Secord, um, was a Canadian heroine in the War of 1812. She is known for having walked 20 miles out of American-occupied territory in 1813 to warn British forces of an impending American attack. Her contribution to the war was little known during her lifetime, but since her death, she has been frequently honored in Canada. And so, uh, the man that owns this chocolate company named his chocolate company after this heroine from the War of 1812. I think Which that's cool. Which was against the Americans. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. Right. But, uh, that, yeah, that's cool. So, I looked. The, the two small ones do not have, they have the nutritional information, but they don't have the... Um, uh, I'm sorry, they have the ingredients, but they don't have the nutritional information like calories and stuff. So I looked them up on my fitness pal, and from what I can tell, the milk chocolate one is 25 calories, and then the white chocolate one is 26 calories. No, I said that opposite. The milk chocolate is 26 calories, the white chocolate is 25, as far as what they've got on my fitness pal. So, this broke, but it's literally just a bar of chocolate. Um, it, there's nothing. Um, Do you want me to get the whole thing? Or? No, just take that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That is a grainier chocolate than I'm used to. I like it. It's got good flavor, but the texture is a little weird. I like the. Um, I like the milk chocolate flavor. Mm. Uh, um, it's not creamy. No. And there's a snap to it like you would get from a dark chocolate, but I still like the flavor of it. I like the flavor, but I don't know if I like the texture. The texture, like I said, is kind of grainy. When you eat it, it kind of melts into this like, um, it's not sandy, it's not that rough, but it's, uh, it's lack of a better word, chunky. <laughs> it's got a little, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get that. But it's not a smooth milk chocolate. Let's try the white. This is white chocolate. Once again, it's just a plain bar. I um, honestly, there's a picture of her with her face on the front. I thought it would have her face on the chocolate, and it might on these bars. Oh, the flavor there. That is not our white chocolate. Mm. Kind of bland. The aftertaste is a little bit of a white chocolate flavor, but beyond that, I didn't really get a lot. You do, mm. you get it after, but mm -hmm. it's not It's not a rich white chocolate. I say this all the time. Anytime we're trying white chocolate from like the United Kingdom, I say it's not as syrupy, sweet, uh, just very, very sweet as our white chocolate. And it's not. It's, it's a nice flavor, but I would not choose that over what we get at all. Oh, just I, because I love, that's my favorite chocolate is white chocolate because it is so sweet. And that's just lacking in that. Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Now, these bars, just so you know, there were tw 26 and 25 calories, but they were only 10 gram bars. Yeah. These bars are 40 gram yeah, bars. Yeah, and they're 200 and... 30 calories for yes, peanut butter. for the peanut butter, yeah. So there's uh, 30 additional grams in these bars. Mm. And these and are made. Like that. Okay, and that so does they're have made a face on it. Oh, they do, a cameo. Yeah, that's what that's I was That's what I was hoping for. And look at that peanut butter. And that peanut butter looks awesome. You can just bite it. I think your piece was too little. It's a, no, that's fine. It's very peanutty, the peanut butter. Well, that was my initial impression. Now that I've 
I've eaten all the more, but it's got more of a peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. I still don't like their chocolate. I, um, I like the flavor of that peanut butter. Mm, I like the peanut butter a lot. It's a sweet peanut butter. It's like a Skippy peanut butter. It's mm -hmm. not a Jif. More like Skippy, but yeah. I really like the peanut butter. The chocolate itself is, is it's a just very basic, isn't it? I don't like it. I you think it like tastes it like uh, Palmer chocolate or one okay. of the cheaper, cheaper chocolates. Okay. The quality to me, I'm sure it's it's high quality. I quality bet you these are expensive chocolate. chocolate. But I'm just saying the texture for of you, that chocolate yeah. for me mm -hmm. is more like a cheap grainy chocolate. It's just it's just not I'm just not a fan. I love the peanut butter. Though. This peanut is butter a is surprise. Blue. It's green. It's, it's like green. green. Yeah, it's green. This one is 240 calories, and it is wow. mint chocolate filling with white uh, chocolate coating. I don't know if we're gonna like that or not. It's, I'm just gonna. It's green. I mean, it's chocolate on the inside, like a um, it's from brown chocolate, like um, like chocolate. It smells very cleanly, mm -hmm. toothpastey, mouthwashy. Not quite as bad as I thought, but it does. Too strong. It does um, resemble more toothpaste than than uh, a mint uh, than anything else. Yeah, it's a pretty strong mint. Although out of all of them, I like that one the best because it covers the taste of the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, Kevin just did not care for it, and you know what? You're just you're being honest. Um, I. I, my favorite's definitely the peanut butter. I like the. Oh yeah, the peanut butter's my my. Well. I would eat the peanut butter all the time, but see, you didn't, didn't like, like that chocolate. chocolate. Man, if they put that peanut butter in a different chocolate, it'd be excellent. <laughs> That's their whole company is the chocolate. Um, or if they put that peanut butter maybe in the white chocolate, I might have liked it better. But I just don't like the regular chocolate. I like the peanut butter quite a bit. The mint, the mint was okay, but I would not get it again just because for me it resembled. Uh, toothpaste yeah, and very, I, don't, I wouldn't want a whole candy bar of that toothpaste so after the peanut butter one I would say the white chocolate but honestly I wouldn't buy any other ones but the peanut butter ones yeah. because the chocolate is um, it doesn't have the uh, uh, a rich milk chocolate flavor like some other ones that we've had that we're used to yeah that we're used to However, that being said, Jamie, thank you so oh, much. Thank you, always uh, thank you. Yes, thank you for letting us, uh, giving us the opportunity to try these. We appreciate it very, very much. You know, um, we'll always be honest with you all, mm -hmm. even though um, they sent that, we really appreciate it, but we, we want to be honest. Well, when you um, like them, I just didn't care for the chocolate. Texture. I like the peanut butter, but yeah. now would I choose this over other, uh, other, other uh, chocolate? I would not. Yeah. Um, so you all will have to let me know, the Canadians that watch, you'll have to let me know if these are really expensive and how do you feel about this chocolate compared to, you know, other brands, Milka, Cadbury, Lent. Um, Lent is a, an excellent one. So let us know what you think about them and thanks for watching.